Hi everyone, I'm Donna the Disney Geek SW and welcome back to my channel. Today is day six, I believe, of Vlogmas. And yes, I'm filming it on the correct date for the first time. Yay! So today is day six of Vlogmas and it's not summer related, it's not food related, it's nothing related to anything I've talked about before. Um, but it's something that you all know about me, maybe. I use my arms, you will know. Uh, I have tattoos, um, about 13 of them, maybe. I don't know exactly, I'm not very good at counting. <laughs> uh, um, I might have to count them. And I decided, because most of them have a meaning or a time in my life or something like that. Because with me, I don't just go, oh, that's a pretty picture, I want that. You know, I mean, people do, people have designs that are just pretty looking and, you know, I like them. You know, they are pretty and they're nice and things. But for me, it's got to be a bit deeper, you know. <sighs> okay, so, uh, is what I'm going to do is I've pre-recorded some bits of them and then I will talk about them in due course. After. So here is number one. So that's my first one. I'm going to do them in order if I can remember them. Uh, so this is my Westlife one. And some people would go, oh, why have you got a boy band on your arm? I got two. <laughs> I don't mind. I love Westlife. I have always loved Westlife and I am happy that Westlife are back in my life. And I got this when they broke up. No, I didn't. I'm lying. I didn't get it when they broke up. I got it two years. Two years? I got it in the 10th year of Westlife, whatever year that was. 2008. I got it in 2008. 10th of February, 2008. And I wanted it doing. It was my first one and I was really scared. And... My mum put the heebie-jeebies into me, right? She has tattoos herself and she's like, Donna, you've got a really low p p pain threshold. I can't talk today, I apologise. You've got a really low pain threshold and you will be able to do it. And I'm there going, oh my God, I really want it. But it's like going to be the most painful thing I've ever done in my life. I haven't broken any bones or anything. So, you know, it's quite bad for me. And I sat there and it wasn't that bad. It really, really, wasn't that bad and I was like really mother what are you on about it's not that bad <laughs> which obviously then makes you want more doesn't it after that first one you just want more so yeah so my first one's a Westlife one Westlife means so much to me I mean I am like obsessive fan dumb you know and they were my teenage bands bands band and they helped me get through my teenage years, which weren't easy. I mean, they're not easy for anyone, but I struggled a little bit in certain areas and they helped me through it. And that's why I got a Westlife tattoo. It took me 10 years to, you know, to of loving them to before I did anything drastic like that. You know, I don't just put any old band on my body, you know, because I was too young. But uh, yeah, so that's my Westlife tattoo. Number two. if I can remember the order which I'm getting a bit because some of them are quite ill I know my first one and I know my last one <laughs> so my second one I believe is the butterfly uh, which I got on my 23rd birthday I'm gonna say my 23rd birthday can't do the math so I don't know when that was um, and uh, me and my sister both got butterflies that day um, she's got hers on her wrist. Hers is different to mine. We went with different ones, but we both got butterflies. Um, cause, um, we both wanted tattoos that symbolise each other. And it was the way to go. I go for the coloured one cause I love, I love colouring tattoos, coloured tattoos. I'm not one about all this tribal kind of stuff. I do like them, but for me personally, I like to have colour and brightness and shows my personality through things like that um 
and yeah again i didn't find it that painful so <laughs> you go and, you, and it's not painful so you go again and you keep going until eventually you find one somewhere and you're like oh i can't do that but i haven't found that point yet i i think i've got quite a high pain threshold uh so yeah nice little butterfly for me and my sister uh on my 23rd birthday that does have some relevance <laughs> um and yeah my next one so my next one is a high school musical tattoo <clears throat> excuse me and I got this because I have an obsession with High School Musical. Ten years on, I will still admit that. <laughs> um, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I I went to see the film, the last film at the cinema. I have been to the sing-alongers. I've been to the theatre shows of it, and I would have gone to the concerts if they had it. And I absolutely loved it. Absolutely obsessed with it. And it, again, it's one of those things that you have a struggle time in your life and something helps you through it. And for me, that thing at that point was High School Musical. You know, you literally, you'd come home from your bad day or whatever and you'd stick on a DVD, you'd listen to the soundtrack, watch the concert DVD because they had that much going on, you know, and it just helps you get away from whatever's going on you know and it was a really powerful thing at the time that just i just look back at that and think yeah that helped me wonderfully a lot of my tattoos is a lot like that <laughs> you know so yeah a lot of people when they go oh what's hsm stands for and i go oh, it's high school musical and they give me that weird look i'm like i don't care my tattoo is not for you it's for me and i know that it is what it is or other people kind of turn around and go, oh, that's sweet. And I'm like, yeah, thank you. I'll take that one. <laughs> I don't know if I'm getting them in the right order, but this one is my stars one. This one, I, me and my sister for my 25th birthday went to Butlins um, and over 18s, Butlins to see 911. No, I don't have a tattoo with them. I have considered it, but I, I haven't. <laughs> um, but I we went and it was awesome. It was really good. Like we've never done an adult weekend thing before and it was really good fun. 911 was fun and I had a fake tattoo there. It was all black and I was just like, this is really cool. I really like it and it'd be really cool if you were in colour, like I say I love my colouring tattoos. So I designed the colour of it and I went to the tattoos and I'm like, can I have this? And he was like, of course you can. And they did it for me and I love it. It's so colourful, it's so me, like the stars, the whole personality of it and everything is so me. But um, but at the end of the day, I it just takes me back to Butlins when we had a really awesome time, went and saw 911. You know, it was a nice party atmosphere and it was really, really cool. So I go there when I look at this tattoo. And my next one, oh, I've just said my next tattoo is, and I'm going to say to be continued. <laughs> I apologise. This video is over eight minutes long and I didn't realise how many tattoos I had. Didn't realise I could talk about it all so much and it's come to be quite a long video. So I've decided I'm going to break them up into individual videos. So we're going to get four tattoo videos, or three maybe, three or four over Vlogmas. Uh, one a week maybe, depending. Uh, because there's just too many and it's hella to edit, if I'm honest. <laughs> I'm bored as I give me hours. Uh, so we're going to leave today's with it to be continued. Um, which I've never done before. Ooh, my own little tattoo series. <laughs> <laughs> anyway i hope you like this video and it isn't too long for you uh so if you did give it a thumbs up if you want to see more from me you can subscribe and hit the bell button boop, to be notified when i upload which is every day at 6 30 at the minute because it's vlogmas yes so hope you all had a lovely day and i will see you tomorrow for more vlogmas bye